Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, this video is a time-lapse video of me turning my largest piece so far on this lathe uh, using this avocado wood log that we uh, chopped up with our chainsaw. I'm chewing it up with my roughing gouge, trying to make it nice and round. And this was probably the limit of this lathe. So it continually started st stalling out. Uh, I think the piece was just too big. So I tried sharpening the roughing gouge. Uh, that didn't really help. It helped a little bit, but it still kept stalling out. So I tried um, using my bowl gouge and that helped a little and tried cutting the tenon and it really stalled out. So I went and looked at the belt and the belt was starting to slip off. So I readjusted it and cut the tenon. So that helped a little bit more, but it was still a problem. So I decided to take it to uh, the bandsaw and I basically uh, cut it in half. So I made the piece a lot smaller, um, put it back in the uh, chuck and everything worked a lot better. So I'm using the roughing gouge to shape out the base of the bowl there. And I'm using my spindle gouge to uh, clean up the cuts. Now I'm coring out the inside of the bowl with my bowl gouge, making some push cuts, trying to get the depth right. And once I get it close, I use my carbide tool to finish it out. And I'm finding that the carbide tool, especially on the avocado wood, works the best because uh, this is an end grain turn and there is a fair amount of tear out. So I got it to where I wanted and I'm going through the sanding, starting from 60 grit all the way up to uh, 1000 grit. So there's a lot more sanding than I'm going to show you here because it's kind of boring. So uh, we're going to finish it up with 1000. Once it's done, I made a mixture of uh, linseed oil, beeswax, and a dark walnut uh, Danish oil, which you can see there. Take my paper towel and just work work it in. Now I'm going to do this process until uh, uh, the piece stops taking in the oil. So this wood is uh, pretty dry because uh, we've had it uh, under our steps for a couple months. And one of the problems with turning the avocado wood is you'll be able to see it especially on the outside of the bowl, is um, we'll get some tear out. See those little white dots? Those are the tear out. Now, I found how to uh, get rid of that. Uh, and basically, all it takes is a little hand sanding in the direction of the grain. But in this case, I decided not to do it because uh, some of those uh, dark spots that you'll see where the tear out happens, it gives the bowl a little character, a little texture, so it's not like perfectly smooth. So with the other half, which um, it's not on this video, I made it uh, perfectly smooth and I hand sanded all those little um, tear out marks. But um, so I had two different versions of, of the piece. And I don't know, this has some character there. It looks like it looks more natural. You can see uh, the grain, you can see the marks. Really like the uh, end grain turn of the avocado wood. That's it. Thanks for watching. And aloha.